All right, so today we are going to be making envelopes. Um, yeah, I'm home today. It's cleaning day, and I didn't want you guys to watch me clean the house. So I thought I'd come and share this with you guys on how to make some envelopes. So this is one I made, and then this is another. This, this, this video is for... Uh, people that are not crafty like me um real simple and you know you want to do your own envelopes and you're not a crafty person but you still want to do it right you're gonna try at least so um i made this video just for us uh it, it's all up to you about your measuring uh how big or how small you like your envelopes i like mine pretty big so yeah so we're gonna be making this and this today and all you're gonna need is paper i'm using scrapbooking paper real thin you're gonna need glue or double-sided tape which not all of us have so glue regular school glue and scissors that's it you don't need anything fancy paper scissors glue and that's about it so let's get going to making these Envelopes, yay! All right, come on, let's do it already. All right, so let's get our papers. So these are the papers I got. Um, you can use any paper. I'm using scrapbooking paper, and this paper. I like these kind of papers. It's pretty cool. Got my glue, and I got my scissors. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys two ways to make an envelope. All right. So here we go. Alright, so you're gonna have to turn it over though, because that's the the side you want facing out, right? Alrighty. Now I want it to be like this. So I'm gonna fold it up. Let's see how big I want it. I guess oh, about there. And then smash it down. And then fold this top. Up to there. You gotta get it like, like in the as close as possible to this, because that's your coming down, right? All right, so we're gonna have to cut this off because this is a part of the book. All right, so you get your scissors and you just cut straight across. Alrighty, it's real easy because it has the has the dotted line on it, so you don't really have to be a professional in making the. Okay, all right, so this is on the side. All right, so now what we're gonna do is fold it. Like, I don't know. You're just gonna fold it just a smidge up. And since I like big envelopes, I fold it like that. Just like that. You don't have to be perfect. Because, um, everybody's not perfect right and this is the easiest way you know for non-crafty people to make envelopes and we all can't be perfect like all them amazing crafting crafting people <laughs> yeah i love watching them craft it oh i'm so sorry okay um See, that's why I said I didn't want to talk. Um, all you do is cut just a small slit like that at the top of the um, this one. Top. And then you make another slit at the other side. Because they have to, you know, have to come down and be good folded. So, you can either cut it off. You can cut this flap off. These two flaps. Or you can come up and just go that way that's what i like to do just to give it some kind of uh you know a nice looking um flap just like design looking but not really just like that and it doesn't have to be perfect and throw that away and it comes out like that see nice then you fold it down and then it'll look like that. Alright, so now we come back. 
now you can either cut one of them off because we will, we will fold it up and glue it so you can either cut it here you can cut that one off or you cut this one off i'm gonna just leave it because i like it so you have to glue you just put glue on one side because that and that is going to go together you don't need glue on both sides and then glue on this side put glue all in there so it sticks if you got double-sided tape you can use that too if not like a lot of us don't because it's expensive sorry you can always use glue and then you lift it up and you can pull it, push it down on the glue you don't have to be perfect like see my side over there is not perfect this is for us people that are not good but want to do it yes for us all right and then you just smash it down and that's it so now for this one you can either glue it oops you need to glue it down or you can use tape okay i have these tapes this is what i usually use so I, you know to decorate it and stuff it all depends if it matches or not so this this or just regular tape all right so that is the first envelope and then you turn it around and it looks like this then you can write an address over there the label if i have any or i'll get one of these sticky notes and stick it right on there if if it um if it matches the background i'll stick a sticky note on there or you can use white out and it looks just like the, the label all right now let's do let's do the next paper this one so let me clear up my space okay so the next one is this one this paper all right so first thing you're gonna do sorry first thing you're gonna do is cut off the the top again i'm gonna turn it around we're gonna bring oh, this paper is so big we're gonna bring two points two um corners to each other just like this like real close to each other like basically on top same same Slide that out and then slide it slide it out Make your crease and then get out. Now, again, it's up to you how big you want your envelopes. I like my envelopes big. And just a reminder the bigger your envelopes, the more stamps you have to use. So, yeah, I know. It sucks, but it's okay. Alright, so you grab the other two points. You got your crease going up. So, get your other two, get it together much as you can it doesn't have to be perfect and then you slide up okay just like that then you open it and now you got your point your middle point then you bring your corner to the middle and you slide and you get your crease and then you bring your top point to the middle you can either stop right there or you can come over a little bit it's all up to you and then crease it up and then your next one same thing but this one what i like to do instead of just coming right here because it'll it won't because you gotta glue it i like to bring it up just to have that little that little tail up there to make it look a little bit fancy and then smash it down make it crease then you turn it around and then do the same thing so it's up to you on how far you want to go or how um not so far it's all up to you i like to go almost to the bottom but not really because i use a wax seal stamp so I can't go all the way to the edge and then crease it down now you can leave it like this and glue 
um, glue it closed. Put your letter inside. Glue it closed. Sorry. Glue it closed. Just like this. Or you can tape it. Shoot. Up to you. But I like to glue this first. Just a little bit. Zoom, 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 zoom. And once again, this is for us um, people that want to do crafts. And, you know, we're not as good as people that do crafts and stuff. Just something easy to do. Alright, so just that. And then I bring it back up. And I smash it down nicely. Bring it down. Smash it down. Make sure it's all smashed. Then I take it. Turn it over. And done. So you can put your labels. Um... Whatever you want, you gotta make sure you let it dry because it's glue, right? So, while it's drying, you put your labels on. Um, you can write your letter. You can do whatever you want to do. Usually, I like to do the um, the uh, card stock. So it's like a thicker paper. See that? And look how thin it is. I like to do card stocks. They look real nice. And I like to get make mine long. And this is like a square. So, and then uh, you can also do, or can also make, you know, like little, little ones like this. Or you can make a smaller one. It's all up to your sizes that you like. And then I cut mine like this, just across, real nice like that, and then across. So you can do anything you want. This one has a point all the way down, so I'm going to either glue it or I'm going to tape it shut. And then uh, this is the one I just made, square, okay. a notepad like this from Hobby Lobby. This small, and I'll just put it in now. Just like that see it fits perfect so I don't have to bend the paper or crease it or anything it fit perfect perfect inside see that I don't know if you can see so it's all up to you and you're measuring and how big or how small you guys like it alrighty so hope you guys hopefully you guys have fun with my um, vlogmas envelope maker <laughs> so have fun making envelopes see you guys tomorrow bye